Flux AI is the new gem in the AI art generator industry. This image generator can create amazing hyper-realistic images, and I think it's a great opportunity to create images for any influencer model. However, after trying Flux One on various platforms, I noticed that it's very hard to create consistent character images. After researching for a few days, I found an amazing platform that can solve this issue. Today, I am going to introduce that tool and share my experience. Let's dive in. Introducing OpenArt AI. It's not just an image generator. Here, you can create images in any style, edit images with AI features, and even train your own model. I will put the link in the description. Just head over there and create an account. Once you are logged in, your interface will look like this. Here you will find various options to create and edit your image. I will create some consistent character images. So let's first create the first image. Select the Create Image option from here. This is the OpenArt Image Generation Platform. This is the Preview panel, where you will find the generated images. On the left side, we have to input our data. First of all, the custom preset. You can save your settings or use the OpenArt preset. For the first time, I will skip it. Next, we have to choose the image generation model. Here you will find all the popular image generation models like Flux, Juggernaut XL, Cyber Realistic, SD3, and others. The list is huge. This time, I will go with Flux. After selecting the model, enter the prompt in this box. Here you will notice another interesting feature, the Image to Prompt Generator. Just click here and upload the image you want to convert into a prompt. Once the image is uploaded, it will generate the prompt automatically. You can use this prompt. However, I will enter a ready prompt. You will find the prompt in the description box. Just customize it and use it to create your own version. After entering the prompt, you can enhance the prompt from here. Next, in Advanced Settings, you will find the steps. This refers to how long the AI runs before generating the final image. Usually, higher is better, but only up to a certain degree. The default is four steps, which should be enough for generating any kind of image. After that, set on the image size. In the end, set the number of images you want to generate at a time. I will go with four images. Once everything is set, hit the Create button. Now we have to wait a bit. It depends on the number of images and the steps you set. Let's fast forward this part. And here it is. The images are ready. You can see OpenArt generated four outstanding images with Flux 1. Honestly speaking, the images are top-notch. We could easily use any of them for a potential influencer. Now you have to choose one of them to move ahead. For example, I am selecting this one. Now you can see various options to customize the image. I will talk later about the edit options. Now, let's upscale the image first. Click on the upscale option from here. You will find some options to upscale the image. Use one of them as per your need. I will go with 2x, and our image has been upscaled. Now, simply click on the download icon from here to download the image to your device. All right, our first image has been saved on our device. Now we have to create unlimited images for our influencer account. To do that, you can use the reuse settings feature. You can reuse any image as a style reference, pose reference, composition reference, or even face reference. We have to choose a face reference. Before that, we have to change the model. Unfortunately, Flux doesn't support face reference on OpenArt at this moment. Don't worry, according to the OpenArt team, they are actually working on it. The OpenArt team told me they will support Flux face reference and other types of references soon. So I'm staying tuned for that and will let you know when it's out. So select a model like Juggernaut XL or SD3. After that, open the image you want to use and set the face reference from the reference option. Now enter the prompt you want to use. You can also add other reference styles from here. Next, set the aspect ratio and other advanced settings. Once everything is set, hit the Create button. And here it is. Our newly generated images are ready. You will notice that they keep the same face but in different environments and modes. So, now you can create images with consistent characters using OpenArt AI. Now, let's see another outstanding feature called Bulk Create, which is only available on OpenArt AI. With this option, you can create up to 100 images with one click. After selecting the model, enter your prompt in this box. But I will use the Upload Multiple Prompts option, because then I will be able to enter multiple prompts at once. This is a fresh list of prompts. I will upload this file. If you want to download this particular prompt list, join our Telegram channel or Discord server. 
You will find it there. All right, once the file is uploaded, you can see that it detects 93 prompts. And now we can generate 93 images with just one click. Next, select the face reference option from the image guidance settings and upload your model's face image. After that, set the image size and other advanced settings. Once everything is set, hit the create button. Now, grab a cup of coffee or do some other work. It will take some time to render your images. I will fast forward this part. And our images have been generated. You can see here 93 images, all with the same face but in various styles and environments. So, now you don't need to generate images every time you want to post. Just enter the prompt and generate 100 images at a time. Alright, now what if you are not an expert in prompts? Then you can train your own model with these images and generate new images with simple prompts. Just go to the Model tab from here. You will find all the models OpenArt AI uses to generate the images. At the top, you will find the option to train your own model. Click here to start training. This is the model training interface. First of all, we have to choose the model type. You can go with the character or face option. Next, set a name for your model. Then, we have to upload a minimum of 4 to 64 images to train our model. I already downloaded 60 images on my device. Now I will upload them. Once the images are uploaded, click on Train Your Model. It will take some time to train the model. Let's fast forward this part. And here it is. Our model is ready. Let's generate images with this model. As you can see, our model has been added to the generation models. Now, enter a prompt in the prompt box and set the other settings. Once everything is set, hit the Generate button. And these are the newly generated images. You will notice they have the same face as our model. Isn't that a great feature? But that's not the end. You can do so much more with OpenArt AI. If your images need customization, open the image. Now choose the tool you need. First of all, the InPaint option. After going to the InPaint tab, choose the area you want to edit. Then, select the mode. Next, go to the prompt box and type in what you need. Once everything is set, hit the Create button. And here is the new version of our image. It's just amazing. After that, with the Remove option, you can delete any unwanted object from your image. Just select the area you want to delete and click on the Remove Now button. And this is the result OpenArt AI produces. Next, with the Expand feature, you can expand the image area if you want. After selecting the tool, set the area and click on the Expand option. And here is our expanded version of the image. After that, with the Style tool, you can mix two different styled images and create a new, unique style. For example, I want to mix this image with this style. So, I just have to upload the image as the reference image and then add a prompt. You can skip it. Now hit the Create button. And here is our fusion image. The result is just amazing. All right. The next tool is the Background Remover tool. With this tool, you can remove or change the background of your image. Next, this is an interesting feature. With the Face tool, you can change the expression of your image. Just select the image and the tool. After that, choose one of the expression presets from here, and your image expression will change immediately. This feature is extraordinary. You can even set custom expressions by adjusting the value. Give it proper time to create outstanding results. Next, with the People tool, you can fix poorly drawn hands and faces. Just select the area, enter the prompt for what you want to change, and hit the Create button. This is our customized image result. I hope you enjoyed this feature. Next, with the Blend feature, you can blend image layers and create a new, unique flattened image. It's a game changer for designers. In the end, you will find the option called Find and Replace. With this feature, you can replace any object in your images. Now, with OpenArt AI, you can create any kind of image for your model, and if needed, you can customize it as well. Alright friends, there are so many other unique apps available in the Apps tab. You can change the image style, turn any sketch into images, create variations of any images, blend multiple images to create a new one, and generate AI stickers. I will talk about all these features in another video. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about creating consistent character images with OpenArt AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!